Hey, how you doing? I was watching John Oliver being interviewed by Stephen Colbert this week during the lockdown situation and he opens by saying, hey, how you doing? And John Oliver says, I'm about a four. And that super resonated with me. Like, that's where I am. I'm, I'm all right, I'm getting by, but I'm not great, I'm not good, I'm not bouncing, I'm just, yeah, coping. I'm, I'm in a point at a point where I've started making a video and I haven't bothered moving the cat. This is Oscar, I hope he cheers you up. Um, I'm doing this week exactly the same thing that we did last week. There are two videos, so stick around here if you want a little bit of serious chat, no jokes about what's going on and what I think could be done better. Uh, if you're not ready for that, if the media coverage is getting into your head and you don't want any more of it, click in one of the following directions um, or in, there'll be a link underneath this video on YouTube or Patreon and there'll be a silly fun video where I'm taking some green screen holidays and uh, just go and enjoy that and chill out and I hope you're okay. If you're ready for some serious chat, here's some serious chat. I think what we need to talk about is this, testing. Um, all the medical authorities are saying one of the most important things we need to do right now is to be testing people, testing people who've got symptoms, testing people who are medical professionals. And Boris Johnson, a lot of world leaders are saying, yeah, testing's very important. And then they're not actually doing it. They're giving very bold numbers, not even very bold numbers, they're giving numbers and not even meeting the numbers they've said. There are a bunch of reasons why testing is really, really important. First of all, testing would mean that frontline medical staff who've had symptoms or been exposed, we could check if they have actually been infected. And if not, they could go back to work. You know, if they've just got a cold, they don't need to stay in their room for another 14 days or whatever. And that would take the strain off other medical professionals who are struggling to cope with a massively reduced workforce and a massively increased workload. Secondly, if we test properly, we can then study the illness and figure out much better how it transmits and how social distancing is working and what's happening and we, we would understand it better and that would help us to write policies which prevent the spread of the disease but don't limit people's freedoms. And then of course we are not far away by all accounts from having a test for the antigens and there are a lot of people out there, myself included, who, who are fairly confident that we've had it and if I could be tested for that and demonstrate 100% that yes, I've had it, I'd have a load of, I'd be able to go out and start helping other people. I'd be able to go and visit people who have definitely got it and take them supplies and support them and look after them. I'd be able to go and do all sorts of things that would otherwise put me at risk, but I can't do that until that test comes around. And there are probably thousands of people across the country um, who suspect they've had it. And once we know who has had it, then we have a much better read on what the death toll actually is, what, what, like, what the percentage risk actually is. We also have a much better read on what underlying conditions are likely to exacerbate and which ones are likely to be less of a problem. There's so much more information we could get out of there. And also, it's just reassuring for people to know. Like, if they've got it, it's better that they know and they can go and get treatment. And if they haven't got it, it's better that they know and they're not worried about it. And if one person in the family's got it, then they can be isolated away from the rest rather than all living in limbo and not knowing what the best thing is. We have to have more testing. And it's time that Boris Johnson stopped saying there's gonna be more testing and actually did more testing. And if you want to laugh, go in the usual direction and I'll see you there for a little bit of fun. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you're all well. And so does Oscar, don't you, mate? Well, okay, he's yawning, but I assure you, I, c I can't account for that. That's why it's called the Music 8, not the Music Cat. See you next week.